Hey guys, I'm Natalie. Welcome to today's low impact, full body, high intensity workout. No format required today. It's going to be all standing, just a set of two hand weights. Let's start with our two minute warm up. Face the feet to the front of the room and about hip distance apart. And let's draw the knees up towards the midsection and set up our form. So pull yourself up through the crown of the head. Nice, long, tall torso supported by a really strong core. Roll the shoulders up and back for one, two, and three, keeping them back and down the whole time we're working out. Arms overhead and then bring knee towards elbow and elbow towards knee. But my knee and my elbow aren't actually touching and I'm not hunching over to get it there. I'm keeping my back long and tall. Just bringing the knee towards the center plane and the elbow towards the center plane. A few more for three, two, and one. Grab an imaginary bar out in front and then pull it back towards your chest, squeezing those shoulder blades together. The back is still long and tall, so never any hunching over. Drawing those knees up to hip height for three, two, and one. Walk the feet wider, face them out to the corners of the room. And then I want you to kick the butt and then arms overhead, imaginary bar, and then pull that bar down behind your head and squeezing those shoulder blades again. Do a few more here, guys. Warming up the upper and the lower body for three, two, and one. From here, maintain this wide stance. We're on a squat and then drive up through the heels and squeeze the glutes at the top of the move, sitting back into the squat, knees behind toes, sit back, drive up through the heels and squeeze for two and one. Shuffle on the spot, I'll show you the first move. Round one, all squats. So I want you to start in a V. We're gonna do a kettlebell swing. Weights out in front, you can hold them together or individually, what is it? whatever is easier for you. Plie squat, stand, plie squat together. That is it. So you can hold them both in one hand if that's easier. Down, stand, down, together. Here we go, to your right, plie squat, stand and squeeze together. So just like in the warm up, drive up through the heels and squeeze the glutes together. Squat, stand and squeeze together. Just letting momentum help move these weights up to shoulder height. Other side, your left leg. So sit back in that squat, stand and squeeze, squat together, going to your left. Here we go. Down, squeeze it up and together. Really focusing on executing really lovely form. So we wanna sit back, squeeze, sit back together. Torso, long and tall, no hunching over. Let's do half a one. All right, guys, starting a bicep curl. Feet are facing forward this time. Squat, stand, squat together. Feet are facing forward. Here we go, squat, stand and squeeze with a bicep curl. So we are shifting our feet when they're the feet are at a different angle. We're working our glutes and our quads from a different angle. Squeeze together, drive up through the heels. So going to your left, left leg. Sit back in that squat. So not up and down, sit back into it. Squeeze it up and together to your left. Step squat, stand and squeeze together. So you know guys, I always talk about this, but imagine someone grabbing you from the base of the spine and pulling you to the back of the room. Let's keep it going. Squeeze and together. All right, start with your feet together. Overhead press, squat, stand and squeeze, squat. Knee up, wide, stand and squeeze, wide, knee up. Here we go. Narrow, stand and squeeze, narrow. Knee up, wide, stand and squeeze, wide. Knee up, so we're gonna do one narrow, and then a knee up, wide, stand and squeeze, knee up. <sighs> Working the brain <laughs> and the body. <sighs> Other side. So we're doing a squat. Stand and squeeze, squat. Knee up, squat. Stand and squeeze, squat. Knee up, here we go. Squat, stand and squeeze. Knee up, land wide. Stand and squeeze. Knee up, land narrow. <sighs> Sitting back into the squat, repeating the overhead press. One stand and squeeze, 
One knee up, one stand, one knee up. Well done guys, start in a V. Dumbbells at the shoulders. We're gonna do a plie squat. Swivel back together, just to your right. Here we go, plie across and together. Down, across, back, together. So just pivoting your left knee on the ball of the left foot as you reach with your left arm to the right side of your body. Other side. So with your left leg, plie squat. Pivot back together, just to your left. Here we go, squat, pivot back together. Just your right arm, reaching across, pivoting on the ball of the right foot. Reach, and just reaching across the center, sorry, the side plane of the body. Don't over rotate. Well done guys, grab a drink. And then one hand weight. Right leg's gonna do a rear lunge, weight overhead. Rear lunge, stand, rear lunge together, bringing the weight back over the head in a tricep extension. Try and keep the elbows close to the head. Here we go. Rear lunge, stand, rear lunge together. Getting two nice right angles with these legs, stepping back far enough that this front knee should be tracking over this front ankle. And then really focusing on the triceps here, bringing the weight all the way down and up. So I'll show you on the other side, left leg going back this time. Rear lunge, stand, rear lunge together. Two right angles with these legs. Stepping back with the left, here we go. Rear lunge, stand, rear lunge together. Try and keep these elbows as close to the head as possible. Mine aren't touching, but just don't let them flail out too far. And then bringing your left knee close to the ground in the lunge. Front knee should be behind front toes. Well done guys. Start in a wide stance. Push to a side lunge. Dumbbell to the side plane, side lunge, dumbbell to hip. So one to the shoulder, one to the hip. Here we go. Side lunge, shoulder, side lunge. Bring it to the hip. So as you bring that dumbbell up to your left shoulder, don't over rotate. I don't want you to twist that spine too much. Just to the side plane of the body. So down, across, down to the hip. I'll show you on the left side, nice wide stance. Push side lunge, just to the side plane of the body. Don't over rotate, side lunge, and then the hip. Here we go, side lunge to the shoulder, to the hip. Side lunge to the shoulder, side lunge to the hip. Making sure we keep our form in the side lunge. We are still sending our booty horizontally to the back of the room. All right, guys, nice low, wide stance. We're gonna do a knee up, and then we're gonna draw a figure eight with this weight from the hip to the center. Here we go. Knee up, figure eight. Always returning to this low, wide squat. That's our starting position. Low and wide, feet facing out to the corners of the room. Stand with the knee up, and then straight back down to that low, wide squat, drawing a figure eight. Sorry, I did not explain that very well. So stay, start low, knees over ankles. We're gonna stand with the knee up and draw a figure eight. Here we go. Knee up and then draw that figure eight, coming straight back down. So one side of the eight is on the outside of the left hip. The other side of the eight is between the legs. So here's one and the other. Driving that knee across the mid plane of the body. Well done, guys. All right, catch my breath. Sorry, start in a V. We're gonna squat, weight to hip, squat together. Start in a stand, here we go. Plie squat, weight to hip, plie squat together. See if you can bring that weight down to the hip, but have the weight facing the front of the room. Just working a slightly different angle. So two hands on the weight, bring it in and back. So plie squat, arms are out, pull the weight across, down, together. Starting in a standing position, feet in a V. Squat, weight to hip, squat, together. 
drawing that knee up as you come out of the squat push it out pull it in push it out together working the core working inner thighs quads and booty all right guys grab a drink you are halfway done back to two hand weights you now get a second chance to perfect rounds one and two start in a v you can hold both weights in your hands if you like arms out in front plie squat stand and squeeze plie squat together with a kettlebell swing shoulders back and down torso long and tall here we go step to the right stand and squeeze and back together really focusing on your form core is engaged torso long and tall sit back into that squat by letting someone imaginary pulling your booty to the back of the room I'll show you on the left so I really want you to sit back into it not up and down sit back into it and then drive up through those heels and squeeze those glutes here we go to the left step squat stand and squeeze together letting momentum help with these weights kettlebell swing just bringing them down and up to shoulder height and together getting into the inner thighs the quads and the booty half a one starting a big bicep curl feet are together facing forward step squat stand and squeeze and together feet are forward this time here we go step squat stand and squeeze and together same form booty going to the back of the room back drive up through the heels and squeeze send it back drive it up send it back together giant bicep curl do a few more guys I'll show you on the other side left leg step back into it drive up and together so not up and down send that booty back really exaggerated step squat drive up and together I want you to crack that walnut between your glutes as you drive up through the heels now out of that squat down squeeze it up and together two one your right leg arms overhead narrow squat squat stand squat knee up land wide and then knee up here we go narrow squat stand and squeeze narrow squat knee up land wide stand and squeeze and then knee up so we're doing really two narrows and then two wides narrow up narrow knee up and then wide all right guys oh, I'm feeling it today other side just gonna catch my breath weight overhead narrow squat here we go squat stand and squeeze squat knee up land wide stand and squeeze and knee up back to narrow and now to wide stand and squeeze back to narrow keep that overhead press going half one starting a V with the feet dumbbells at the shoulders plie squat reach across plie squat together to your right plie reach plie together so pivoting on that left foot and then the left arm just reaching across the side plane of the body from this low plie squat position down reach back together catch my breath so on the other side plie squat just reach across the side plane of the body don't over rotate to your left squat it reach back together torso long and tall don't give that core any time off keep it engaged down across back together five seconds two one grab a drink guys one round to go and then one hand weight to finish it off right legs coming back into a rear lunge weight overhead rear lunge stand rear lunge together I want two 90 degree angles don't open up that hip trying to bring your right knee close to the ground left knee over left ankle here we go rear lunge stand it up rear lunge together look down if you can at your front left knee it should be behind the toes if it's not 
step back a little bit further with that right foot. Pretend one, left. So if you're coming in too short, your knee might be pressing out over that ankle. Step long enough that the right knee's over the right ankle. Here we go. Rear lunge, stand, rear lunge together. Don't forget about these triceps. Try and keep the elbows close to the body, sending this weight all the way down and up, all the way down and up, getting into the triceps. I'm feeling mine, five seconds. Two, one. Start wide, pushing side lunge to your right. Bring the weight to the mid plane, to the right, and then to the hip. So starting with a side lunge, side lunge, dumbbell to shoulder, side lunge, dumbbell to hip, down, across, down to the hip. Sitting back into that side lunge. Do not over rotate as you bring that weight up to your left shoulder, just to the side plane. I'll show you on the other side. Probably better this way. So down, just to the side plane, don't over rotate. Pushing side lunge to your left. Down, bring the weight to the shoulder, weight to the hip, side lunge. Weight to shoulder, side lunge, weight to hip. Always returning to this side lunge as the starting position. Down, across, down to the hip and down. Well done guys. Start in a low wide plie, knees over ankles. We're gonna stand, draw that knee across the body as we do a figure eight. Here we go, figure eight. On the outside of the hip, in between the legs. Come low in that plie squat as we pass through center. Low and up, drawing your right knee across the body like we did in the warm up. Two, one. We're almost done. Low wide squat. So if your knees are pushing out over your ankles, step wider. We're gonna be going figure eight to your left. Here we go. Figure eight and down. Always returning to the low wide plie. Get into those inner thighs. Get low. Quads and booty are also joining in. This is a core move, but it's also lower body. Two, one. All right, guys, starting to V. Plie squat, knee up, plie squat together. Last move of the day. Here we go. Plie squat, knee up, plie squat together. Push the weight out, in, out, together. So see if you can keep the dumbbell facing the front of the room on this one as you pull it back towards the hip. Half a one. So what I mean is keep it facing the front and facing the front rather than letting it go. It doesn't really matter. Just to squat, just to do something different. And just slight change in the body position makes your body work a little bit harder. Throws your brain off balance too. Pull it to the hip and together. Last move of the day. Well done guys. Give yourself a round of applause. I don't know if it was just me, but I felt it today. So I want you to do some arm circles. Just shuffle around on your feet. Three big arm circles up and back. For one, two, three. Grab one hand and pull with in the other. Pull your arms back and still just walk around in a little line or a little circle. Keep the body moving. Keep those feet moving. Switch which hand is on top. Pull those arms. Open up that chest. Really stretch out through the chest. Shoulders and back and down. Stretching out those arms. Okay, grab onto a wall. Piece of furniture if you need to. Grab the top of one foot in your hand and then stretch through your quad. Trying to keep your knees relatively close together, so not out here. And try and press through that hip. Imagine oxygen going down there as you press the top of your foot out against the hand. Open up that quad and that hip other side. I like to hold on to something and then I can really focus on pushing out on this hand and getting that stretch through the quad. Well done guys, shake it out. Step your right foot forward, left foot back. Both feet are facing the front of the room. 
front leg is bent, back leg is straight. I want you to push through this left hip, really exaggerate it. Breathe oxygen in there. Bring your left arm up in front of the body, nice and straight, catch it with the right arm, which is bent. Push out against this front bent arm so you feel a stretch in this shoulder. Bring the arm up and reach down the center of the back, press down on the elbow, opening up that tricep very gently, leaning over to the right side of the body if that's comfortable for you and you have the balance, opening up the right left hip and the left side of the body, back to center. Swivel this back foot so it's now perpendicular. Open the arms up into a warrior pose. Front leg is bent, back leg is straight. Bring your front right hand or forearm on the front leg, very gently leaning over and bringing your left arm, reaching up and over the body, trying not to hunch the shoulder, keeping the shoulder back and down, even while you stretch the hand away. Back to center, switch feet, left foot forward, right foot back, feet are facing the front of the room. Front leg is bent, back leg is straight. Breathe in to this right hip, really exaggerate pushing through this hip. The hip flexors are really important to keep stretched and flexible. Bring your right arm up, catch it in front of the body with your left. Breathe into that shoulder, push out against this front left bent arm. Bring your right arm up, reach down the center of the back, press down on your elbow, very gently leaning over the left side of your body if that's comfortable, really feeling that awesome stretch in the right hip and the right side of the body. Come back to center, swivel this back foot so it's now perpendicular, open up the arms, back long and tall. Warrior, bring your left hand or forearm on your left quad and then reach that right arm up and over the back of your head, sorry, over your head, reaching it away from the feet, trying not to hunch the shoulder, getting that beautiful stretch in the side of the body. Come back up to center, three big shoulder rolls up and back for one, two, three, round of applause. Well done guys, it was a tough one for me today. Let me know in the comments if I was the only one. Thank you for working out with me and I hope to see you next time.